I'm George Hoffman, and uh, I'm very excited to do this demonstration today of a portrait I just recently completed of my grandson, Johnny. And uh, I'm particularly excited uh, because I received a kit in the mail from BrushandPencil.com. I'll show you the kit. Yeah, it's right here. And um, this was a, uh, this is a system that I've been trying, and this is my first attempt at using uh, the system to be able to do uh, a portrait. I've done landscape and uh, some pictures of my, my dog and some other things like that, but this is my first attempt at a portrait. It's actually also my first attempt at using sanded art, sanded um, paper, and I'm using the UART 800 paper, uh, which is I'm finding to be terrific, especially in conjunction with the system by Brush and Pencil. Um, the colored pencil uh, powder blender system. And I'll quickly show you what comes in their uh, starter kit. I've got um, a final a bottle of final fixative, which at the very end of your project you use to seal. And this allows you to not even have to put glass over the piece, especially if you use a uh, piece of hard material like a pastel board or uh, some kind of acrylic board. Uh, firm uh, foundation and uh, mount it in, in a way that is, is uh, protected but not necessarily under glass so this is a great a great product the key to the system is the combination of the textured fixative which uh, you use almost like a workable um, matte fixative uh, between layers and the great thing about this system and the reason I like it so much is I'm a traditional oil painter and um, I did a lot of work in oils um, following Norman Rockwell's style and in his case and the, the work that I've done uh, for years and years and years um, you lay down a, uh, a basic underpainting using a Mars Violet uh, to do the whole painting. If you look at any, any of Norman Rockwell's work, his illustrations, you'll find faintly in between the seams you'll see Mars Violet has the uh, the foundation of his paintings, where he did the entire painting with the Mars Violet as a, as an underpainting, uh, sketches and everything underneath the the layers of paint, and then he would overlay that with uh, pigmented uh, glazes and uh, an opaque paint as well, of course, in oil. And the great thing about uh, this system is that uh, you can do the same thing using the the um, textured fixative each time you spray the fixative especially if you use a pencil like the Fa Faber-Castell uh, polychromous pencil which is made with oil uh, it's an oil-based pencil it bonds with the oil and creates a uh, fixed um, piece on your textured surface so you don't you can lay down darks and build up darks to light using almost the same kind of a glazing technique. So that's why I'm particularly thrilled. Uh, the other key to the uh, process is what they call the powder blender. It comes in a small jar. It's powder. I don't know what it's made out of, whether it's a talcum powder base, but it uh, it's a white powder. And the way you use it is that after you've laid down your your pencil, in a rather rough fashion, necessarily. You don't have to be rough with it, but when you lay your, your pencil down onto the sanded paper or the gesso surface, whatever the firm surface is, you can come back with the little brushes they send you, which are these little sponge brushes, brushes and you will be able to, the, the pigment from the colored pencil somehow magically uh, is able to be used in a way that is very similar to oil painting. Uh, they also send you a really cool little bottle of uh, looks like nail polish, but it's the same formula as the textured fixative, but in a small touch-up texture bottle. And it is used uh, by, if you have a small area on your drawing, painting, that you want to touch up and lay down and fix in place, then you can use the the brush applicator, almost like a nail polish applicator, and fix down a, a small place like a like lips or eyes or something that is um, 
um, is something that you want to be able to go back over within the next 30 or so minutes. And you'll have, an, uh, you'll have a foundation there that won't lift the previous pigment, which has always been so frustrating to me because I love to use oils in which I can paint over whatever's down before. And the last thing they've sent is a titanium white, which I have not used yet. Uh, but I understand I could mix this with the nail polish looking stuff and use a paintbrush. And after the piece is fixed, uh, then that can be almost a, uh, a white, a pure white highlighting uh, paint. Let me go ahead and get out of the way here and I'm going to start the, uh, the demo and hopefully you can leave me some feedback on it. And um, if you have any questions, please go to my website, shoot me an email. Uh, georgehoffman.com and I will be glad to correspond with you and talk about it. So anyway, here we go.
Bye. 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 Bye.